The Craig Jig makes installing decking with the proper spacing and hidden screws very easy. And this kit comes with everything you see here, including a bag of 100 of special deck screws. Before we can start building the deck, there's a little setup to do. The first is to install the little rubber pads into the receptacles on the bottom of the jig. These help keep it from sliding around while we're working. Next, we have to install the three guide bushings using the indexing pins and the nuts and screws that they provide with the kit. The square drive bit that comes with the kit will tighten the screws up or you can use a Phillips screwdriver. Next, we have to install the stop collars on the drill bit. The jig has two recesses built into it. One is for setting the stop collar on the drill bit, and the other is for setting the stop collar on the square drive bit. Setting these stop collars is a one-time thing. I think it's a good idea to check them every once in a while just to be sure they haven't moved. Actually using the Craig deck jig is very easy. In most cases you position the center bushing over the joist, drill a pilot hole, and then run the screw in using the special bit with a step stop. Because the screw is installed right through the drill bushing, it's at the proper angle and the stop makes sure that it's at the proper depth. If there's no obstruction at the end of the deck, we can use the center drill bushing to get the maximum depth and grip. But if there's a wall or something right at the end of the deck, we can use the angled bushing. That lets us position the pilot hole and install the screw so they're still hidden and it gets a pretty good grip as well. The angled bushing at the ends can also be used when we're splicing together a board over a joist out in the middle of the deck field someplace. The instruction manual shows you how to deal with boards that are up against a wall or when installing the boards diagonally or on stairs. The Craig deck jig is so easy to use that you don't have to crawl around all the time when you're installing boards. You want to put screws in both sides so you can just put the jig on the other side and do all your drilling and screwing from this side also. When adding the other boards, we use the spacers that Craig includes with the kit to keep the right distance. The red spacers are a quarter inch, the blue ones are five sixteenths. We use the blue ones for when we expect the boards to swell quite a bit. For all subsequent boards, we put the jig on the boards so we're pressing against the spacers. We always screw down this side first. You should go ahead and put screws in all of the joists on this side of the board. And then we can remove the spacers, put the jig on that side of the board, and screw it down there. And then we don't have to worry about messing up the spacing. It takes longer to describe all this than actually doing it. Just follow the instructions, and before you know it, the Craig deck jig has helped you make a nice, evenly spaced deck. Then you can sit back and watch all the people figure out how you got the screws down in between each of the boards like that.